Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Once again, this is Fem NY and Chillin here. And for today's video, I'm gonna show you how I made this beautiful hot air balloon with a bear on it. And with a, of course, with the beautiful flowers here for our arrangement. If you do wanna know how I made this, please stick around, okay? And thank you all for the people that watch our video that supports us. Shout out to all of you and this channel is not gonna be here without your help and support and we will uh, we really appreciate your help and for watching our video we do read all your comments and we appreciate all your support and comments out there and again if you guys have any questions please leave us a comment leave us some comments and we will try to answer all those questions that you have in your mind so we can help you guys um, create your uh, project all right with that said uh, please stick around so this is 260 Q and we will make some beads and we will put this around the basket of our hot air balloon okay so I'm gonna So about three pumps, okay? And uh, use my paper towel so the powder is gonna be off. Pinch and twist. Pinch and twist. So when you twist this, make sure it's all the same direction. I go, I'm gonna twist it away from me. Pinch and twist, one, two, three. One, two, three. like that and then once again the first and last one you're gonna twist that together so it won't get undone put this on the side and we'll make more all right all right guys so I'm done with my 260 Q copper right here I made those these beads right here now we're ready to pump our 260 Q silver So we will put this on our box right here. This is gonna be the basket of our um, hot air balloon. So we will put this on the side here on this, the top, top and all the beads is gonna be in this. So by the way, the box here is just a regular cardboard that I made and this is the size right here. So each side is, the length is 10 inches and the height is seven inches. Okay, regular cardboard box. Okay, and I covered it with white paper. So, and with that said, we need to put it like about three fingers right here. You pinch and then you twist. Okay, and then the tail right here, the nozzle, put it in between. To looking like that so we're gonna put it right here so this is gonna be in the corner so now from here you, you pinch and then you pull this here pinch and twist again so when you're done it's gonna be like that on each end so now the other corner 
you pinch this here, twist. So now we need a little another one here on this side to finish this. So I'll pump another balloon. Two sixty Q. So I will just attach it here. So there goes your balloon. It's not the perfect, but it will fit in here. So to attach this, I will attach this with, uh, we'll put some blue dots right here, okay? All right guys, so now I'm gonna use balloon glue dots right here. I'm gonna attach the, I'm gonna put it right here so it's, it connects and it's more sturdy. So I put the balloon glue dots right on here, 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 and connect it to your cardboard box so all the way around okay All right, so I got the balloon glue dust right there. So now we will attach our copper beads right here. So the same thing, I'm gonna be using balloon glue dust on here. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna uncook this. And remember, never let go or else it will just gonna unwind. Balloon glue dots right there. I'll go on my first two.
So I'll we'll put glue dust on the paper and on the one of the beads. So now guys, it's finally done. I got it there. I mounted them all. And I end up using seven of these beads. So two of them, I will just put it on the side. Okay, so this is it guys. This is the basket of our hot air balloon. All right guys, so this time we will, we will attach our, um, this is a balloon yardstick. I got this from Dollar Tree and we're gonna attach this here. to inflate all our balloons here this would be on the top okay so we have seven different color here these are five inches uh, round latex balloon and we also use our 260Q it doesn't matter what color because it'll be covered anyway and for the inside balloon ideally uh, this is what they use it's a quick link balloon but this is too small for my project today. So this is only like, I think 12 or 11 inches quick link balloon. But we don't have the bigger size of this, so I have an alternative, okay? If you guys don't have this special balloon, you can use a regular balloon. This is 16 inches, okay? Because I want it bigger. So this is not a quick link balloon, as you can see. So we will make one. So you use scrap, 260Q, just tie them like this. Basically, you, you want to make a ball. I'm gonna cut this off. See that? I made a ball right there. So we will Put this inside your balloon and get it right there. Okay, so once you get a hold of the ball right there, you want to tie it with your 260Q. Right there. Now we will inflate this one. So I want this nice and round. So there's no particular size. I just want it nice and round. There you go. Okay. So now this one right here, connect it here.
So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six total. Okay. okay. So as I said, if you have this quick link balloon, it's a lot easier. If you connect all your 260Qs here and to the other end. Okay. But as I said, I don't have the right size. I choose to do that one, okay? It's a lot easier. And if you guys don't have any of this special balloon, that will work, okay? That's a DIY. We're ready to inflate all this. So basically the smallest balloon that I have, I inflated it five inches. They're all five inches. I inflated it to 3.5 inches or 8.89 centimeter. This is the smallest that I inflated. So the rest, don't have any specific um, specific size but the smallest I use is 3.5 inches I just want to make sure that they're kind of nice and round Alright, so now they're all inflated, so what we're gonna do is just pair it with any other color. Alright guys, so I got most of them paired up. Some are loose here, so in case I need to fill in some of the gap so basically you grab any color and just put it here that will hold your balloon Let's continue right here. So just finagle your way here and fill in the gaps. So as you can see, you can see the balloons right here just you just have to put some single balloon and just fill in the gaps like that. Okay, like, like this balloon that you can see, just fill it in like that for the gaps. There's the basket, so. I don't trust this because it might be like sharp and I don't want the balloon to pop so I'm gonna pull like one of our balloon here. We just have to cover those 260Q that is showing and some patch, some holes, we'll patch them. So I'll use balloon glue dots. And then we'll add add a bear right here all right guys this is it so for the final look we will add this one right here and we have a blog on how to make this one but we'll put this here so guys this is our hot air balloon I hope you do like this one if you do 
please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and thank you all for watching and to all our subscribers out there thank you very much with all your support so shout out to all of you and please continue watching our video and once again this is Femme and White Chillin here and we'll see you guys in our next video all right thank you